Hey everybody, my name is Deja and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my December TBR. <music> So as you guys probably saw, I have a little bit of an announcement. I'm going to be participating in Bookmas, and so this means I'm just going to be coming out with more content in December, especially because the past couple months I've been slacking because of school. It's been really difficult, but I definitely want to put out more content than I ever have before, and so I kind of have a schedule in mind of what I want to do. Some people do every other day in December. Some people just post more content. Some people do the 12 days leading up to Christmas, and that's what I'm going to try and do. I will have some other videos like this one towards the beginning of the month but I do really want to do those 12 videos but I'm not going to hold myself to it if I miss a day then I miss a day that's fine with me it's whatever we'll get to posting the videos at some point so there are so many readathons happening in December but I told myself months ago that I was not going to participate in any readathons in December and I'm holding true to that again we're doing this again. But me and a couple booktubers are actually going to be doing a 24-hour readathon on the 28th, which is a Monday. It's supposed to be kind of like a last final push to try and get those books in for the end of the year that you really want to, whether you need to complete your reading goal or you're just trying to read as much as you can before the end of the year. It's going to be me, Justice from Aries Library, and Sarah from Coffee Tea and Me, and we might have some other booktubers who are going to join. We just don't know for sure yet. And um, we plan on being live for like almost at least 12 hours on our um, respective channels like we're gonna kind of flip flop channels but we're going to be doing reading sprints for at least half of the 24 hours so I'm really really excited to just get those books in so a lot of my read-alongs are actually overlapping this month so I'm going to be participating in three and the first one I want to talk about is Ember Along so I'm actually going to be reading in December A Reaper at the Gates which was our November book because we actually pushed the date of the live show for this back into the 12th and I want to make sure to read it kind of close enough like in the week leading up to it just so I don't forget it um we just had some kind of like scheduling things so our live show for this is going to be December 12th at 2 p.m EST and that's what we'll be discussing this book if you want to know more about the read-along I will have my announcement video linked down below and I do this readathon with a couple other girls that I will also have linked down below. Another update on this for our December book which is the last book A Sky Beyond the Storm. I know for some people that book is coming out a little bit later like December 10th I think in the UK so we actually pushed our live show date back to the 23rd of January just to give people that extra time especially with the holidays so we will have ample amount of time so I'll probably be reading that one in January instead of December so this one's on my December TBR and the fourth book is going to be on my January TBR. TBR. So the An Ember and the Ashes series is basically about our main character Laia and her family was killed by the Empire for being part of the Resistance and so this is kind of like a Roman inspired fantasy world and so since her family was killed by the Empire she lives with her grandparents and one night her grandparents and one night the Empire comes and kills her grandparents and takes away her brother. So she goes to try and find the Resistance so she can actually get her brother back and they can help her and to do this she has to make a deal with them where she is going to go be the maid for the common who is actually like this leader of this academy called Blackcliff Academy where they train these people called masks which are like really good trained assassins the highest level of killer in the empire and so she goes and the commandant is ruthless and she actually has a son named Elias and that's our second character and so we just follow them how their paths cross this series is very depressing Saba does not play okay she wants you to feel all the emotions and she doesn't want you to be happy she doesn't want you to be happy she doesn't want Lyra or Elias to be happy nobody to be happy <laughs> So another read-along I'm participating in is obviously the Thorns and Roses along and so I'll link my announcement video and I'm doing this with Mel from Mel Reads and Molly from Mind of Molly and we're going to be reading the A Court of Thorns and Roses series and so in December we're going to be reading the first book A Court of Thorns and Roses and so this is on my December TBR obviously. I've previously read this book and the second book but I never finished out the trilogy and there's obviously the novella. I read this a couple years ago and I feel like my reading tastes have changed so much so I really want to see how I'm going to feel about this. So in this series we basically follow our main character Feyre and she is in a very tough situation where she has to take care of her family so one day she goes out hunting and kills a wolf. This wolf actually ends up being a fae who was shapeshift into a wolf and because she did kill a fae they demand retribution so they basically take her out of the mortal world into the magical fairy lands. I really just love Sarah J Moss and she's one of my favorite authors and so I just want to reread it and make sure that I actually love this series as much as I originally did. 
the last read-along that I'm going to be participating in is the Kill Creek read-along and we're going to be having our live show for this on December 17th at 8 p.m. EST and I'm doing this with Rain from Bruise and Binds, Savannah from Riveting Reads, and McKay from McKay's Book Club and we're just going to be reading this horror in December and I'm actually thrilled to read this because I've been hearing it around kind of on booktube and I do want to get more into horror. There's like a lot of genres that I want to get more into even though I can only read so many books in a year but there are a lot of genres that I do really want to get more into and this is a horror that's been extremely hyped for me. All I really know about this is I believe that we follow four horror authors and they go to this like kind of like haunted house or like some sort of like spooky house and stay there for the night and I believe this takes place over one night and I'm really excited to get to this as I said. I don't really know much else but I don't really want to so if you want to join this as I said our live show is going to be December 17th. So the next book that I'm going to be reading, I'm actually really terrified to read. I'm not lying. I'm scared. And so it's a buddy read with me and Nicole from Who Picked This Book. It's an alien Christmas smutty romance. Like, I'm scared, okay? It's called Krampus and the Crone by Honey Phillips. I'm looking at the cover right now. And so she sent it to me and I was like, okay, I guess we'll buddy read it, but I'm kind of scared. Hey, Jesse. But I am actually going to be doing a secret TBR this month. Hopefully that'll have this book in it. So you guys will get to see my live thoughts. I know that's going to be so entertaining. So in this, I believe that there's some sort of like orphans and they're trying to bring joy to children. Like our two main characters and the main male character is an alien. It came out December 3rd, so it just came out, and we're going to be reading it soon. So if you are interested in this, go pick it up. It's on Kindle. So I'm actually just going to be briefly touching on this book because it's actually for school, and we've already read most of it. But I'm going to be finishing The Turn of the Screw this month. And um, yeah, we've been reading this since the beginning of October, and this is like a ghost story. If you guys have watched the second season of The Haunting of Hill House, The Haunting of Bly Manor, this book is what's based off of it, and so is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. I didn't really like The Turn of the Key that much. Like, it was okay, but it wasn't like blow blow me out the water and i haven't seen the second season of ha the haunting of hill house this book is pretty it's fine i actually kind of like the story but the writing is honestly atrocious so it's kind of really making it very difficult to read and so yeah i'm on page 78 i'm definitely going to be finishing this in december so as you guys probably know i'm also in the stacks of strange book club and i'm actually going to be sitting out for december and they're actually going to be reading the library at Mount Char if you guys want to participate. I know this is kind of like a Christmas ebook, and I will link the Instagram and everybody down below if you guys do want to participate and keep up with updates of when the live show is going to be. And so I'm only going to be mentioning one more book because as I said, I'm hopefully going to be doing a secret TBR and this is already kind of a lot. And some of these books are pretty big, especially this next one, but I'm really excited and I've already started it. And that is Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So I read From Blood and Ash, I believe in September, and I absolutely loved it and everybody's starting to pick it up now and I'm absolutely loving it. I've always kind of been a fan of Jennifer L. Armentrout but she didn't publish stuff for a while and she has an, a huge backlist but like I read some of her stuff and I did really really enjoy it but then From Blood and Ash came out this year and I read it and loved it and so I'm super excited to get to the second book and she's a chunker okay she is pretty pretty sizable she is but the, actually the pages I would say are pretty like thick pages um you know like how Sarah J Mass's books like they now have like pretty thin pages like Crescent City the pages are like bible paper this is like thicker than average paper I would say There's 626 pages, um, so it's pretty, pretty big, and I definitely want to read this soon, so then that way I can be ready when the third book comes out in April, because it's literally stunning, and I'm so excited. If you don't know what From Blood and Ash is about, it's about our main character, Poppy, and she has been chosen to be this person called the Maiden, and she's basically kept hidden away. She can't know anybody, can't talk to anybody, can't be touched, nothing, and she literally wears, like, a veil, and she's just waiting to the day that she ascends, and so 
in this world there are like kind of these vampire-esque creatures there's basically vampires and werewolves it's just in another world so they're called different things and there's two different species of these vampires there, there's the ascendant and the atlantean and one day she gets a new guard and his name is hawk and the story kind of takes off from there there's a lot of build up to that point but it all makes sense in this world and i love hawk so much poppy is also a really amazing main character but hawk takes the cake i absolutely adore everything about him stop it get some help i don't know what those hand gestures were but i just a hawk is definitely at the top of like i know everybody says like book boyfriends or like whatever like my book romantic interests like my favorite ones he's at the top okay i love him him and resand are up there together just chilling like i love him that much to put him on the same pedestal as resand yes I said what I said and I'm not gonna take it back okay so I'm really excited to get to the second book and as I said I've already started it I'm about 60 pages of the way in which doesn't look like anything to be honest like it literally is not even like a centimeter in but that's okay I'm just really excited to like slowly read this throughout the month actually it's probably not gonna happen slowly because I know everybody who's picked this up even the first one from blood and ash everybody has been just binge reading these and this one actually took me a while to read but I feel like this one I'm going to binge read it and it's going to be a time so those are all the books that I have planned to read in December. Hopefully I will get to my secret TBR and have it posted before Christmas. And then I also would really, really like to get to the A Kingdom of the Wicked. And hopefully I'll be able to get to that um, probably towards the end of the month after Christmas. Because I am going to be having a lot of videos going up before Christmas. So I definitely want to make sure that I am focusing on that and focusing on the books that I have to read by dates. And then I will probably read that one during our 24-hour readathon or something. Because I just, I'm so excited for that one too it's about like a romance between a witch and a prince of hell and i was highly anticipating it because i love carrie maniscalco and then mel from mel reads read it and she loved it so it just really made me want to pick it up so bad like i you don't understand so yeah those are definitely all of the books that i'm going to mention in this tbr so what are you guys planning on reading in december are you participating in any of these read-alongs are you participating in any read-a-thons let me know down below i would love to hear from you guys but that is all that i have for this video today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.